Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Moonlighter. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Last episode we did some adventuring, got our butt kicked a little bit, uh, but we also did some good stuff. We kicked some butt, we got our butt kicked, and we kicked some butt. We also sold an item, didn't sell another item. We filled up our store with some, oh look, I, I can actually see myself in the mirror. That's actually kind of, kind of neat. We sold, we put some stuff on the table for tomorrow's shop, for tomorrow's sale to see how it goes. I don't know how it'll go. We also have a journal to read. Oh, this is the diagram. Okay, we don't really need to look at that. So, uh, oh, and then I can open this chest. Ah, oh, this is where we're gonna put our extra stuff. So I can, I'm gonna do a quick move all, because I don't really need to have, I don't think I need to have any of that on me. And I don't know how to craft. I think you can use pretty much all of this stuff for crafting, but I don't actually know how to do that yet. Uh, I've got a chest here as well that is empty. So we'll just leave that empty for now. So I do have two chests to keep stuff in for when we go adventuring. Hold to sleep. I'll hold this to sleep. Look, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to sleep, go to the next day, open the store. It's the 3rd of January. It's a new year, or it's not very long, uh, since a new year. All right, let's go into the shop. Uh, why does this say, why does J say sell here? I can place, and I don't know why that says sell. Oh, that's when, like, a customer grabs something, I can walk over and sell it, I'm guessing. So, I'm gonna open the shop. I'm gonna open the shot. Let's do it. I don't know how long, like, I don't know how quickly uh, time progresses. I don't know if you only get to open the shop once. Oh, no, you did not like that. The vines were, that was a, that was a bad price for the vines. Okay. Uh, I can change the, the price on the fly, I think. That was, he was very angry, so let's go down to five. Yeah, the old man's happy about the steel price. I like it. Da da. And, okay, the sticks are too much. The sticks are priced at way too much. We can fix that. Again, I have no idea what's, what anything's worth. I'm just taking a guess. Okay, well, yeah, what do you about... Uh, you're not feeling great about the vines. So vi the vines were still kind of overpriced, so we can do better. We can go down a little bit. Okay, you're happy... Ooh, you're happy about the sticks. So I need to lower the price of the vines. Is that lady buying anything? Is she doing anything? Can I talk to her? Hey, you hanging out? You seen if I'll lower the price to this? Maybe that's what she was doing. I was just seeing if I would lower the price. Um, okay, uh, the shot. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, yeah, they're they're not happy about the price of this thing. Uh, so I can lower the price probably to a hundred. See if I can sneak a hundred ten out of it. Uh, and I need to go get some more stock. I can go get some more inventory. I don't know if I could keep doing this throughout the day. So, um, you know what? Just a quick move. Can I quick move all? Quick move all is Z. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just sell, like, everything. Uh, okay, so. Uh, quick place is C. Yes. And what, what did we learn about the iron? Uh, 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 I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I needed to hit E, E. Uh, we figured out that 25, that people are happy at 25? Is that what we figured out? Okay. I thought people were meh at 25. So, 25 is what we have it set to. What were people angry about? The, the vines, I think. People were met about five on vines, so vines are really just not worth anything. Uh, two or two or three, we'll do the two because like two and a half would be half of five. I was gonna go half the price, um, and uh, we also have some teeth stone. We have a lot of this iron. Here, we'll sell some more of that iron, and let's sell some of. We'll sell some we'll some teeth stone. We don't know what that's valued at, so let's. Let's take a shot at very sharp stones commonly commonly found on the bodies of ancient golems. So probably pretty common. Uh, we'll start with five and see how it goes. This guy's buying my gem. Perfect. Or my whatever that was. Yeah, that lady's just looking. I am all about this. This is what I'm about. Buy my vines! Buy it! Do it! Oh, she's happy about the vines, because I did lower the price on those. And this guy's buying some iron. Yes. Don't, don't tap your foot at me like you're waiting. You waited for like two seconds. We'll slap those over there, so some more iron. Um, what else do we not actually know the price of? We don't actually know the price of a golem core. And I'm guessing those should be worth quite a bit, right? Um, the core or the very heart of a golem. We have found ways to harness the energy but are unable to create life from it. How much should that be worth? I don't actually know. 
It's between. I, I still don't know what the two and the like three thousand means. But I'm guessing that's to help you guess the price. So if if that's the two mark, that's like three. Well, actually, it's 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 it's, it's more than the crystallized energy. It's further down than the crystallized energy, and the crystallized energy is like a hundred. I can get away with 110, in fact. So Golem Core, can I start that at like? Um, also, I, I don't know how to go up by a higher number than I don't actually know how to go up by more than one at a time. I literally don't know. I don't, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. All right. Uh, how about 150? Can you get away with like 200? We'll start at 150. Let's do it. See if anyone's willing to buy any of that stuff. Also, do they have to buy the whole stack at a time, or can they only buy like a? Li can they buy part of a stack at, at a time? I don't actually know. Because that might that might be hindering me too. If anyone doesn't actually want to buy that many at a time, I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that's an issue or not. It might not be an issue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's happy with my prices on that stuff so far. No one's ecstatic, like with the um, with the little coin eyes. No one's like going crazy. So that's good. We don't we don't want to give anything away for too cheap. Look, we're making tons of money now. We're at like thirteen eighty. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna keep yeah. Let's just sell everything. I'm gonna try to sell. I'm gonna try to sell everything that I can. Uh, sticks, the roots rather. Uh, people were happy with five, so we'll we'll keep it at five. Um, I could try to get. Nah, I I could like. Up it to six. So that we can kind of try to find the very edge of what, like, like the very limit of what people are willing to pay. You know what I mean? Let's see what happens. Yeah. It's just, it's getting, it's getting dark now. It's evening. So I guess we didn't have to open the shop. We didn't have to. We could have gone straight out to the dungeon and spent more time in the dungeon during the day. I don't know if we can uh, open the shop at night, though. Yeah, sold those sticks. Sell those sticks. No one's going for the for the golem hearts yet, but no one's even tried. Like no one's even tried to look at it, so we don't know if the price is too much or not. Okay. Yeah, people are paying. Going to pay a little bit more for the iron. They're happy to do that. All right, we need to sell that iron and stuff for more. I think. Okay. Uh, what else do we have to sell? I can slap some water spheres. I don't have a clue what these are worth. Um, they're more than a golem core, though. They're more than a, we haven't sold a golem core yet, so I don't know what that's worth. Um, let's start at two hundred. Sure, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Uh, slap the teeth stone over. Uh, what were we selling teeth stone at? Five, and were people happy with that? People were happy with five, so let's raise it to six and see how people feel. And we haven't sold any rich jelly yet, so let's plop that over. Right? We haven't sold any of that yet. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, but it's uh, at the like very bottom. It's like the it's, or it's it's right above the five mark in merchant. So probably five. Right? So probably five. There we go. Hey, old man. What's up? It's getting it's getting late. It's getting into the evening now. People might stop coming in. I'm just trying to sell everything, cause oh, oh, oh! What, what were you not happy with? Okay, this, this man's. Uh, okay, so both of these were too much. Okay, okay, good to know. Uh, so if we drop this down, this to like 150, and then, uh, whoopsie, this to maybe. Try that maybe. Uh, because it wasn't even meh. It wasn't even meh. It was like straight up the the the, the worst. Okay, so maybe maybe a uh, hundred. We'll do a hundred, and this will be like a uh, hundred twenty. Sure, we'll, we'll we'll do that. They weren't even meh about it. They were just straight up like no way, Jose. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I don't know what this stuff's worth. You gotta you gotta finagle your way. How late is it? is it? Like midnight yet? Like I I see the little. Oh, is that supposed to be like the sun? I'm, lo I'm looking at the timer in the bottom, and I don't actually know what those symbols mean. Oh, there we go. They were happy to pay that price. Okay, got it. We're selling some cores. Still not happy about the uh, the soul thing here. 
So this, they still weren't particularly happy with it. So we'll go to 110, I think. And I've got just a few things left I can sell. This, they were happy at 27, so we're going up to 28. Even though there's a lot of it in the, like the demand for it's probably not super high right now. And people are kind of met about five on this. What, five? Yeah, they were met about five. We're selling it for two right now? Is that what we're doing? Selling it for two? Okay, sure. See if anyone will buy it. Maybe people are meh about two. Maybe it's only worth one. Maybe vines are worthless. But once we sell the rest of that, we've sold all of our things. Ooh, oh, what's happening? Oh, you're ink. Wait, what? You're furious? What happened? I don't even know what happened. That was that was different. Right, they're happy about the 110 on that. I'm guessing uh, the demand for this, the, the, the supply, there's too many iron, I sold a lot of iron bars, so I'm guessing that that probably lowered the value of them, so that's probably why no one wanted to pay for them that time. I don't mind though, I don't mind leaving that uh, on the table for a while longer, because uh, I, I'm out of my inventory anyway. We made 1,500 gold on just iron bars. I'm pretty, look, look at this, uh, oh man, look at all this stuff. So we made 2307 today, Let's see if we can beat that tomorrow. Uh, there's also popularity. Uh, vines are low in popularity right now. Okay, I see. All right, skip. Close. Nice. I'm happy with all that. I'm pretty happy with all that. Now we need to go to the dungeon. We need to go to the dungeon. We need to do some dungeoning. Da 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 dungeoning. Da 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 dungeoning. Oh, also, do I need to actually use the broom to like sweep and like clean up at the store sometimes? Can I talk to you? Renoka, what a town! It looks like they do say different things on occasion. Can I go up here? Oh, there's a step here, maybe? Maybe this is one of the stores, one of the shops that I can open up. Uh, we do have quite a bit of money now. Can I make an investment? Renoka, what a town! Oh, they're all gonna say Renoka, what a town. Oh, Redmond! Massa, my son, when I find you! Oh, uh, oh, Will! Have you seen Massa around by chance? Maybe Macy or something. I don't know how to say his name. So he's lost his son. That's not fantastic. Uh, so we can't do an upgrade. We can do the cheap sale box. I don't know if I really want a cheap sale box now. We don't have so much inventory that I'm that desperate to get rid of it. But we can hire Vulcan's Forge or the Wooden Hat. Let's do the Forge. Uh, I can do both, actually. Uh, select. Uh, yes. Here he comes. He's gonna open up the shop right there! Yay, look at that! Okay. I guess that's just the builder walking away. All right, we can actually go talk to him right now. I know it's in the dead of night, but hey there! Andre! Hey, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire! If it's uh, weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Ooh, okay. So uh, I, armor might be kind of cool. Oh, there's a recipe. So if I own any of that, okay. So I, yeah, this is how you do crafting. I need to, I need to bring him the stuff, don't I? Oh, I. Okay, I see what I'm looking at. These, these are the different objects, and you can upgrade them. Is what the arrows probably mean. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, what is this? Is this a headband of some kind? What am I? F fabric bandana. It says so. Sorry, I have to. I have to, like, oh, I can add stuff to a wish list. That's interesting. Okay. So this adds, like, 30 to my health and 8 to my speed or something like that. Iron helmet, steel helmet, fabric chest plate, iron chest plate, steel chest plate, fabric boots, iron boots, steel boots. So fabric seems to make you faster um, and gives you some health, whereas, like, iron and stuff gives you extra health but doesn't help your speed in any way and sometimes, in fact, actually seems to hurt your speed. So I don't know how much I care about speed, and maybe I want more defense, I don't know. But I also don't have any materials, so I can't actually do any of this right now, and it's all very expensive. That's all armor, there's also swords and shields. Okay. And there's big swords, spears, also oh, these are different types of weapons, gloves, which can help with attack damage and stuff, and some bows, okay. So we need to get materials before any of that will matter too much to me, but hey, he's open now. Well, we might as well. I, oh, wait, what are we talking I came from the capital just to get one of these culture artifacts. They are extremely popular there and can only be found here. 
Who am I talking to? Oh, there's a person standing behind. The, there's a person standing behind the board. <laughs> they didn't see them. Uh, and let's do an investment into uh, moonlight. Nice. Uh, the wooden hat as well. Yes, I have the money for it, so we might as well, so that we have that option available to us when we get some more money, if we need to buy some enchantments, some potions, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's go check that out. Oh, that was kind of neat. Run into the, the grass. Eris. That's how she's just reading her book. Oh, a customer. My apologies. This just this book. It's so good. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Okay, potions maybe. Okay, so um, like HP potion restores forty health. Should always have one or two of these on hand. They're uh, they don't require a recipe, but they are expensive. Three hundred seventy nine. It looks like uh, some of this, so like there's um, another HP potion one, I can get a discount, but I have to bring her some jelly. Oh, I see. HP potion two, very expensive. So the discounts are pretty nice if you have the actual materials. Okay. Yeah, I see. So we got some HP potions. Hyper potions restores full health. A vital put. Okay. That's, a, that's almost 20,000 gold pieces. Jeebus. Guidance Golem Potion. Fireflies will guide the user to the next floor of the Golem Dungeon. Okay. Reveals the Golem Dungeon map upon use. So these are Guidance. Reveal Forest. Reveals the Forest Dungeon map upon use. Okay. So these are gonna help reveal different map. I see. All right. I don't know what the maps are used for. I, I think they're just like the maps like in Zelda. They help you see the layout of what the dungeon's supposed to look like. All right. So that's good to know. HP potions are probably going to be the bulk of what I am interested in. Wooden hat. Okay, so we can do enchantments here. Uh, so we can enchant like tr the training short sword to do seven more damage for a thousand gold and some kind of material that we don't have. We can upgrade the broom spear as well, uh, but we don't have the material. We still don't have the materials to do so. Okay. All right. Well, we don't. Again, we don't have any materials, but hey, the shops are open now. So that's uh, an investment for the future, so that we can get stuff from them. It would be kind of nice if we made like a passive income, since we're the ones that like paid for them to come here and like set them up. It's like now we earn like a few coin every day for helping. That that's how I would do it. All right, we're gonna enter the dungeon. Enter the dungeon. Enter the merchant dungeon once more. Send me in, coach. Send me in, coach. I'm ready to play Golem Dungeon. One. All right, yeah, it is a different layout because there's like three paths now. All right, what's this way? Oh, and I do see the map in my bottom left corner. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, no I've, been, I've been eaten. What the? What? No, 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 no. This is a problem. This is a bit of a problem. How do I get out? How do I get out of that? I don't know if I have to wait or if I have to move. Oh, my. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so. That was so bad. Okay, what happens if I hit play again? Does it just send me back to the beginning of the dungeon? I lost all my inventory that I was carrying, but I wasn't carrying anything, so that's kind of okay. It looks like you lose everything in your pack, but I think you get to keep. Oh yeah, it's all random. I think you get to keep anything that was um in your hand but not anything that was in your pack i think that's how it works there we go there we go wow that was i cannot believe i just there was so i could i was swinging i was just having a hard time hitting those slimes also are there gonna be anything in these uh vases i don't think so at least so far no wow we need to be a lot more careful uh okay there we go oh no 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 how do i Okay, okay, space. I think the space button, the dodge, gets me out of being captured a little bit faster. God, I am having a hard time hitting those guys. Oh, whoa, that's a big hand. Hiya! Hiya! That's a big magma hand. Oh, God. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Also, can I touch that lava? Is that a problem? 
Okay, hang on. We gotta bait it into swinging at us. Ah, uh, uh, got it. Yes! Can I step in this stuff? Oh, I can. It's not lava. It's just goop. There we go. Okay, we're get, we'll are we get better at this. Uh, white stone. Artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Foundry rests. Artifact must be placed to the left or right of bag. Oh, so there's some strategy in figuring out where you're allowed to place stuff for some reason. Okay, weird, weird, but okay, okay. I mean, I can, I can, I can roll with that. Make, it forces you to make some decisions about what you have on you and what you're going to do with it. Alright, that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this video, please do all the things, but whatever you guys do, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, wash your hands.